No, I'm telling you. I know. I get the last, the past couple of videos have been about Disney and Star Wars. I get that. But I know. Just stay tuned. Bear with me. I do like other things outside of Disney and Star Wars. All right? I promise you this next video will be about something else. Just watch it when it comes out. I won't let you down. All right, bro. Word. All right, peace. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pete Perspective. So glad to have you back. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to just come chill and hang out with me. My name is Pete and uh, yeah, I'm back here with another video, folks. I promise you that I'll do these weekly and so I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to it. I'm excited about today. If you love video games, if you love nostalgia, man, we are going to go on a little nostalgic journey. I'm so excited. So give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the video and let's begin. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a product that has been in my closet for a little while. It's about five or six years old, but you can see what's kind of happening over here. I'm on this side of the screen a little bit using my rule of thirds for all of my photography and videography and design friends um, to show you guys what's happening behind me, okay? And so this thing, this bad boy right here is called the Superboy. If you grew up in the hood, you were saying Superman. Well, this is his little brother, Superboy. All right, this product is from Hyperkin and it is, it is exactly what it looks like, okay? So if you have SNES games that have just been collecting dust in the closet, pull them things out and get yourself a Superboy because this thing is gonna marry the past and the future together. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? even though this has been out for a couple years now. It is awesome. I mean, I've used this a fair amount when I first got it. Now I use it sparingly, occasionally, really almost never, but it is still an amazing product and I want to review it with you guys today. So as you can see, I have it charging. It's just a basic five volt charger. So let's compare this to the design of the original controller, all right? So we have our original SNES controller and as you can see, well, there goes the charger. Um, as you can see, they're very similar in design. It was a really cool approach to kind of create something that was memorable and you kind of just off the top, off the cuff, right? When you see it, you're like, oh, I recognize that. So there's a recognizability factor that they played into, Hyperkin played into. So you have your basic D-pad, right? You have your start, select, you have your reset button, which is dope. You have your X, Y, A, and B. And then you're probably wondering what these two are and what they are just ports for an actual controller. So let's say you're with your homies, like, yo, I will destroy you in some NBA jam, bro. Like you have no idea when I am, I'm on fire, he's on fire. What's cool about this game is that you can literally make full court shots like it's nobody's business, but you could plug these in and play two players right on the screen. Another cool thing is that it comes with a cord that you can plug in, right? So I can take this cord, plug it in here to the top in this AV out and then plug these into my TV. And now this almost acts as a regular SNES console. And so if you don't want to go on eBay and try to hunt down a console or whatever, like you guys can pretty much use this as a console, which is very, very exciting. So I'm gonna leave it plugged in. It was pretty dead for a while, but you can see you have volume, you have your LED just to let, it, let you know that it's charging. And then you have your uh, auxiliary, which auxiliary, right? They're going away everywhere. They're going away on our phones and we're moving towards a wireless future, which is amazing. I think that is the right call, but Hyperkin is staying true with the auxiliary port, which is dope. So if you're on the train, if you're on an airplane, whatever, you can still you know, tune out everybody and play yourself some NBA Jam, some Super Mario, some Donkey Kong, whatever your you know game of your choice that you're into, you can do that, which is dope. Honestly, as far as feel overall in hand, um, it kind of feels like a switch. You know, it's thicker for sure. For sure, that's thicker. That's about an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters thick. But um, you know, it's it kind of feels like the sit the switch. The the screen size is a lot smaller. I will say that this does not enhance the screen or the resolution or the quality of the graphics at all. It kind of just looks like a standard SNES. There is an updated version of this. Like I said, this is six years, five to six years old. There's an updated version that's a bit slimmer, a little bit of a bigger screen and a better resolution um, that's gonna push a little bit more out of these games or like do it artificially, which is cool. I don't necessarily need that, nor will I get it, but feels good in hand. You have your spot here for, let's see if we can pull that out. 
there goes the cord. <laughs> um, you can see here, that's kind of where the game goes. You guys remember having to do this for your, to play SNES games? Like, <laughs> like, there was a time when video games were so simple and all you had to do was just blow that thing, shove it in, right? Like, psh, and then you were playing, right? There was none of this, you know, waiting for things to download and this needs an update that's gonna take half an hour. And listen, let's go back to this. Let's go back to this. After the year that we've had, let's go back to this. To step up to this kind of power, this kind of challenge, this kind of flying, crashing feeling. When you decide to get serious, there's only one place to come, the games of Super Nintendo. No one else creates this kind of experience because no one else creates these kinds of games. Obviously with as much light as we have going on here, actually you can see it right there. We got some audio. Um, has a little bit of a tingy. You got the basketball bouncing over that claim logo. Wait for it. Wait, I love the theme song to NBA Jam, man. It's freaking sick. There it is. Let's go. Yeah, I hope I'm bringing back like so many memories. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, freaking sick. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped right now. It comes with this really nice sleeve, which kind of keeps it safe as you travel. You get the hyperkin, you get uh, the cord, and of course, you don't get the controllers, of course you don't get games, but the point is they're trying to reach a niche specific type of person who has existing games, who has, you know, an old box with a bunch of SNES stuff, and you know, you want to still play, but you want to do it in a new and a fresh way, a fresh experience. I want to run through my games real quick. And then we'll just about wrap it up. So, Super Mario World, Super. It's because I'm saying Super Boy. That's actually called Super Boy, not Super Boy. Super Boy has something to mind. But this is called Super Mario World. Fantastic game. Kind of the game that started it all for for Mario. I know that's not true. There were Super Marios before that, but that one was like a classic, and it's kind of the most memorable one. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Mario game is to date. I love Super Mario World. Is one of them. The other one for me is Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube, which we're going to have a video talking about GameCube and why it's still a relevant console um, coming up in the near future. But for now, obviously, you can see my GameCube back here. For now, we'll stick to the SNES, right? So Donkey Kong, another fantastic game. I actually had all three of those, but I sold them. I sold the other two to some collector or whatever. This might be the, uh, the thumbnail. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I need all of them. That right there, something like that. You know, I don't, wait, let me look at the camera. Here you go, hey. Um, I don't know if you guys watch food reviews at all, but I love Running on Empty, which is the report of the week. And he's like, this is Running on Empty food review. I love that guy. Some of the titles that I have, Killer Instinct. I remember when the black cassette came out, all of, obviously look, gray, 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 gray black this thing was dope like people wanted that just because it was the black cassette super mario kart batman forever this is the one with jim carrey as the riddler and i think maybe michael keaton mortal kombat super mario all-stars here we go sorry y'all i'm all over the place super mario all-stars empire strikes back love this game you guys know star wars has been a huge part of my life it started here it started with super nintendo for me and of course NBA Jam, of course NBA Jam, I love that game. If anybody wants to come get the smoke, come. I'll gladly deliver the smoke to you on NBA Jam. This is a cool, cool product. I'm gonna link it in the description just in case if you're interested in this version or the, the newer version. It's a fantastic way to just kind of like play some SNES games and kind of dust off the old, the old stuff that you have in that closet. It's cool that people are still in a world that's so modern and in a world that everything is just moving you know the latest and greatest technology and i'm guilty of being that type of person who's always wanting the next you know piece of tech right that's definitely a part of my dna unfortunately and i have to fight that all the time uh, it's cool that people are looking back and saying how do we take those old classics that people love 
and and pull out some new fresh experiences and 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 deliver it in a new way so that's exciting man i hope you're looking for opportunities in your life to not just look ahead but to look back and say man what what are the parts of you know not to get super deep or whatever but what are the parts of my life that i can pull out and be like man let's do that again but in a new way that's true that's true what hyperkin is doing so i'm excited about this man check it out check it out i'm gonna make sure i put the link in the description just so you guys can even just see the price i think it was like 70 something dollars maybe anyways guys thank you so much for taking the time to listen um and kind of hear about an old product that kind of takes you out of 2020 and into a different time and uh, i hope you guys are staying well and staying safe with everything going on yeah your perspective matters your perspective really really matters and i appreciate that you're taking the time to listen to mine so cheers to a fresh perspective i'll catch you on the next video peace